everybody, it's John back again. Um, I was trying this year not to pick up any exclusive figures or anything like that, because I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of tired of all that, all that nonsense, and it's, it's not all that fun anymore, so, <clears throat> I've been not paying a whole lot of attention, but, I've seen the photos of, uh, this orange space-suited skeleton man named Walter, I'm going to call him Walter because I think it's funnier, the Mad, and all the shots i seen of it were great, and he looked fantastic, and I really wanted it. So, I ordered this, picked got it a couple days ago, I'm going to take a look inside, it's the um, Legion Cons exclusive, one of the exclusives, and the other ones are cool, but I don't know, there's just something about this skeleton looking dude that uh, just caught my attention, and he's pretty awesome looking too, so I'm, you can, you get two rad little skeletons all in one so this is what the packaging looks like there's stuff hidden all throughout and behind there's even a t-shirt if you want to put a t-shirt on one of your characters which is kind of funny uh, and the sign art uh, just is uh that really cool artwork on the back of the box <clears throat> i guess i could try to read this yeah, this never goes really well but across the realm a call goes out to gather like-minded warriors under a single banner, a cabal. Leading this group of tireless, in a tireless quest to assemble the legionnaires is one called Waltor the Mad. Once a humble gardener, Waltor found new purpose in his fight to unite the realm. Nothing would stand in his way, and not even death could prevent him from moving forward in his mission. When the cold grip of the grave finally came for Waltor, he shrugged it off and rose from where he had been laid, as long as he... Had a semblance of life in his bones, Waltor would walk the realm, waving his cabal banner and gathering more warriors to his side. But Waltor's story does not end there, for there are worlds beyond what we have thus far known. A new universe was discovered, and the call of the cabal went out across time and space. Now Waltor pilots his starship across the rings of Cosmerium, an undead ambassador. With an army at his call, each member of his force united in the anthem, Cabal above all. And not too bad. So I guess there's a Lincoln story of passage of time for this character. Um, wonder if we'll get a starship. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Oh, there's his sci-fi-ish name, Waltor. But that's it. Um, I'm going to get this bad boy open and take a closer look because, man, yeah, I'm excited for this one. Well... Here we go. I got these two wonderful guys out of the package. Uh, there's a lot to go here. So um, let's start with Waltar the original, I guess. Uh, there's his face, or his skull, I should say. He's got an articulated jaw, which I don't know why Super 7 still can't figure out how to do this simple thing. Uh, he's got his chainmail on, his cowl, he's got his armor on, and he's got a nice paint job on his bone structure, he's got little hints of green, and lots of leather. And now he's on the floor. Get back up here, Walter the Skeleton. And then we've got our orange bad boy here, who's uh, right now wearing this alien helmet. He's got all these little sci-fi accoutrements on him. A couple of places to plug some things in. Just a lot of sci-fi design sculpting. Wow, look at the underside of that. Wow, that's crazy. Look at those boots. Little jets on his calves. They're standard Mythic Legion dudes. They're always fun. Well done. Um, I guess we can do a basic articulation on this guy real quick, and then we'll get to all the extra doodads that we got going on over here. So, they do have a head that's on a, uh, well, it's, I think it's just a ball joint, but it does give him some movement up and down. Oh, he can even take the little cover piece off, and then he's also got a joint here at the neck, which... Gives an extra rotation. He does have some side-to-side tilty-tilts. 
Oh man, you gotta take this this off for the head to fit? No, the head will go on to there, right? Hmm, we'll have to experiment. Um, shoulders go up and around like everybody else, and they're hinged like so. They're really tight. And he's got a single jointed elbow, which also has a swivel there. Same with the wrists, swivel and, um, yep, hinge in there. They have the waist, typical waist swivel. He's got a free floating belt here that gives him a little bit extra um, stuff on him that keeps it out of the way, or you can tuck it up a little bit so it masks that cut there. Hips go out to the sides, forward, back hinges. There is a swivel at the upper thigh. They do have single jointed knees hidden pretty well in the sculpt. Ouch, the <laughs> rocket kind of hurts. And he's got a swivel and a hinge on the foot and a little bit of a rocking deal going on there. So they are very poseable. Not the highest amount of articulation, but they still beat out other companies. Let's put him to the side for a second. Um, I kind of, there's an alternate sculpt for the head here if you want. Uh, this one's been on a few other figures. I have a couple of them that have this head. So I'm probably not going to go with this one. I'll probably keep the one that's on it right there. I kind of like that look. Let's put this to the side for now. Um, he comes with this free cape. Which I'm uh, going to have to try to figure out how to put on. It looks like there should be a, another hole over here that might not have got pushed all the way through on mine wonder how this is going to work. That's probably going to fold down. And then the, that will go on the, there. And then this other side. I might... Where are my scissors at? I think I'm going to have to puncture a little bit more in this hole because I don't think it went all the way through. Nope, it didn't. There. Now it did. So I probably have to attach it with these guys. So if that's there, that's gonna have to go here. That's my kitty cat. Um, she's getting old. She's recently found to now have gone deaf, so she can't hear anymore. So she meows really loud now to let us know where she is. She's over here giving me some attention. Oh, sometimes these are hard to get to go all the way in. They're one of the pieces I have the most trouble with. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna go in without being without him being heated up first, so I'm just gonna kinda get that there. You know, it should go probably right about here. Or, or is there a... Oh. What? <laughs> How does this work? It's pinned in there. Well, I don't know. That's the other hole. There's this one. That's kind of a weird cape. I don't know if I'm going to get this on in the video. Because if the shoulders don't want to go in, it ain't going to work. Yeah, they're, they're, it's just too, too stiff to get those on right now. The pegs are big, the holes are tight, so it's not going to go on. That's a bummer. Uh, other things, though, he does come with this bladed weapon and he comes with this I think you can change this goes into here wow this thing is huge there's his um, cabal sign or <laughs> I want to say lanyard it's not a lanyard his pole uh, 
this branding. I wonder if I can get him to hold it. This is, uh Mythic Legions are fun. Sometimes all the pieces to get them all together though are rough. And yeah, if I have them holding there, it ain't gonna work. He's gotta hold the other side. Give me back. Let go. Yeah, he's gonna have to hold the top. Get it into his hand. The hands are not as usually as stiff as they normally are, which is pretty good. There, get that there. This here. This big old thing on top. <clears throat> Bend his arm a little. Come on. And yeah, he can hold that. Crazy. He's also got um, like a pouch with some rolled up paper. He's got a, I don't know, a gourd with some liquid in it. <laughs> Whatever his drink of choice was when he was alive. Comes with an arrow and this uh, bow set, which for me, every single one of these I have, this little tiny piece that connects it onto the belt always breaks off. I don't have, out of all of them that I have, that piece breaks off every single time. And he has a little dagger with a nice little sheath that I'm going to probably click onto this little spot here. Oh, that thing's heavy. So I might have to heat him up and then see if I can get that cape on. And maybe I'll do a follow-up segment when I'm done playing with this guy. Get in there. <laughs> it's never easy. Alright, knife come out. I would really like this to hang off of this. But again, see it's closed a bit, so you gotta open it a little bit. But then I worry every single time there it goes that it's gonna snap that little piece off but it fit and his hands like I said are a little bit softer but yep that fits this can go multiple places he can go in his hand or in this other belt piece oh, his drinky came off And that's super soft too, but it kind of works. I'm going to set you back here for now until we get to heating you up. And uh, uh, move on to our spaceman. He's got so much stuff too. They pack this thing. So let's start by swapping off this head. Putting this on his shoulders. And trying to peg that in. Oh, it's gonna go way down. Oof. That's tough, too. Now, does the neck piece come out? And he's just a head in a bubble. Like, do I have to take this out? I don't know. No, because then the head won't fit, so I guess that stays in. <clears throat> So this is just going to need a lot of pressure to go slide into, down, and in, and then over the shoulders. Mm. Yeah, that's tough. Get in and down. Almost, I think I kind of got it. The centered there. That's the backpack, so they can put the this on somehow. Definitely has to click in, right? Or does it just sit? Put 
doesn't seem like it fully goes flush. Maybe because uh, the skeleton head, which we're going to slide on here. At least that was pretty easy. Yeah, I don't know. Something about the look of this. With the, the orange body and that the skull. I don't know. There's something about it that's very intriguing. It's a very heavy metal kind of look to it. Like the, I mean, the, by that I mean the comic book stuff or comic book magazine and that movie makes me think of uh, the Veterans War song. Yeah, it's still not all the way in. There. <laughs> the skull itself is pretty fantastic looking. Mm, cover them up. go in. So there's a slot there and there. Let's go this way. That would make no sense. It's gotta fit. How do you get in? Get in! You're not tight enough in? Okay, there he goes. There's a little bubble dome. Do you have an alternate alien head? You want him to look more alien? He's got some cool little effects like this. Uh, looks like a little scanner piece of uh, the solar systems. He's also got a little gun you can plug into one of those ports. He's got an upgraded Cabal shield. into his hand. So much stuff. What a set. <clears throat> He's got a shield. <laughs> he has a shirt. <laughs> Which is funny. Got a t connecting tube so it can breathe, but I don't know where we would plug into. Oh, here we go. Or you can maybe plug into his belt. Maybe it plugs into his gun. That'd be cool. Oh, one of them does. I don't know why it would plug into his gun, but you can. Or one of these little crystal energy things could probably plug in. You can plug it in to the back of the other one if you want. Have a weird little tube in his back. They have a giant blaster. I think maybe that's what these are supposed to be, like their energy sources. I don't know. They fit in there too. Maybe it's another way for him to hang on. And there's two more and oh yeah, he also has a bow in case you want him to have one. But man, he's so cool. That backpack is heavy. This little blaster in his hand. Get his finger in there. <clears throat> or I can knock it out. Great. He might be the coolest space dude I've seen so far. This Wicked skeleton head. Don't want to hold that too tight, though. Yeah, he's by far my favorite part of this thing. 
Well, I've been kind of rambling and fighting here for a while. Um, I'm going to take a break and uh, warm up the other guy and see if I can get those Baldur and Cape on. So I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> it took a little bit of work and some hot water. Uh, but it's on. He does have his cape now. And it looks pretty good. I'm not going to complain. It's in there. My thumbs are very red and beat up from still trying, but it took a bit. Um, yeah, they're cool. It's a great set. What can I say? They did a good job with this guy. I'm very intrigued by our orange space skeleton. It's pretty good. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys had picked this set up. And what do you think about it? If not, um, would you think about picking it up? Like, is this anything you're interested in? Uh, do you like Mythic Legions? I think they're a great set. There you got their current pre-order going where you can get a giant bear to ride for your guys. Um, I don't know. They're one of the funnest toy companies going on right now. And they always usually give you a quality product that isn't going to fall apart. So... Anyway, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I'm still trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm hoping one day it will. I know my upload schedule's wonky, but life is busy. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.